So speaking about the self-love that you mentioned as the first steps to developing a designing a, a loving work environment mm -hmm. what exactly helps you to feel self-love what do you do concretely mm. <laughs> what do I do so <clears throat> first for me if I talk through my experience and I know many different people could have different experience, certainly if you have a, a strong mind chatter, also telling you that you are not enough, that you don't do the right things, that and blah, 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 and so on. Yep. And certainly in our lives also, and mine too, we were conditioned to, to excel. We were conditioned to, ha to be a high achiever, um, to innovate, to be good at everything we do. So, and in that regard, it can perfectionism can go in the way and that could be on the way of our love our self-love because we are not able to achieve this high standards that we put for ourselves or that family or organization teams whatever put as an expectation mm -hmm. so, so what do you do to be kind to yourself so first is to be compassionate, to, compassionate, be, curi yeah. to be curious why I do feel the way I feel. Okay. Be curious about this, mm -hmm. because this will, whenever you, um, something triggers an emotion to you, it's, it's your compass. Why do I feel what I feel? Okay. Be curious about this. This will bring you to love yourself, to, to really go into what really matters to you. Thank you. Yeah.